In today's video, I want to cover how to plot various stock prices as well as a correlation matrix between said stock prices. The stocks I have chosen are uh, real estate investment trusts. The first one is Prologis. Second one is Stag Industrial. The third is Public Storage. And the fourth is Extra Space Self Storage. So we have two industrial REITs and two self storage REITs. I'll quickly go over my code and then run the code to show you the plots that it makes. Um, and you can pause the video at various points to get the whole um, list of code so you can run it. But I'll just kind of walk you through initially. At the beginning, we import a couple libraries, uh, Y Finance and Map Plot Library. Uh, we then define the stock tickers and time range. We download the stock price data. We'll then plot the stock prices. We then add labels, title, and legend, x-axis, y-axis, title, legend, etc. We then show the plot and calculate cum cumulative returns. And then we plot said cumulative returns. We then run another plot, as you can see. Again, go through the x-axis, y-axis, title, legend, etc. We're going to download the volume data to show that on the chart as well. And then we're doing a particular plot for Stag Industrial just to show that as a standalone chart. We we'll kind of keep moving down the code here. So we plot the stock price, add a secondary y-axis for volume, add title and legend, calculate daily returns, and then we get into the correlation matrix, which will show how the four stocks are correlated between each other. And then we'll plot the heat map. So let's just go up here and we're using Spider as our IDE and our code is Python. Let's just go back up and run that real quick. Look at the top right of the screen and you'll see the plots come up and charts. First one, we have the stock prices of Prologis, Stag, Public Storage, and Extra Space. And this is a stock price chart, so it doesn't show us as much as the next chart, which basically starts in 2016 if they were all the price of one and how the performance varies compared to and contrasted to one another. The third chart we have is stock for Stag Industrial, the price and volume from 2016 to 2024. And then the fourth plot is a correlation matrix of daily returns. So as you can see, the highest correlation is between um, extra space and public self storage, uh, extra space and public storage, excuse me, 0.83 correlation, which makes sense because they're both self storage REITs. And Prologis and Stag, both industrial REITs, have a 0.77. So we'll just go back up to the plots. Again, we have the stock price of the four stocks. We have the stock prices from 2016 to 2024, if they were starting at one. We have Stag Industrial by itself. Tie was back in 2022. And again, we have the correlation matrix. Let me just show you the code real quick so you can pause that if you need to. And I'm relatively new to coding and I do have a finance background. So I'm trying to leverage some finance examples and in investing as I continue to grow my skill set. Thank you for watching. And that brings us to the end of today's video. Thank you.